Hi everyone, it's Miss Beergan again. Today I have a book to share with you about a topic that's really difficult for a lot of people to talk about. Not only kids, but adults. And that topic is death and dying and the feelings we have when someone we love dies. Um, I wanted to bring this book specifically because it talks about the things that people sometimes do and say, adults specifically, to kids in an effort to help them feel better, that even though their intent is to help, can be hurtful. And this book, I think, does a nice job at walking through all of those things and hopefully offers also some ideas for how after the person that you love has died, you can help carry on their memory and their love for you forward. So here, without further explanation, I'm gonna get started, okay? This book is called Death is Stupid. It's written and illustrated by Anastasia Higginbotham. Death is Stupid. When a loved one dies, I know exactly how you feel. People can say some stupid things. Don't cry. Just be grateful for the time you had with her. Even the people who care about you the most may not know what to say. We lost her. Well, then find her. We can't, honey. She's gone. Gone where? Is she ever coming back? Every life comes to an end. She's in a better place. Dying is not a punishment. Would I be in a better place if I died? Heavens no, but it mostly doesn't feel fair. Death is not better. It's stupid. We just mean she's at peace. She can rest and don't say stupid. Why can't she rest here with me and still be alive? Here's your breakfast, Grandma. I'm going out to take care of your garden. If you need me for anything, just yell out the window. I'll come running. Oh, thank you for letting me rest, dear. Now I don't have to die. Some people may try to help and make it worse. Now your grandma can watch over you wherever you are. Beliefs about what happens after death are personal to each of us. We all have our own ways of understanding and not understanding this mystery. Search your heart and other sources you trust to find out what you believe. But beware of the lies. She's only sleeping.
Don't say that to me. Sleep is what I do, and I wake up every morning. Come on, honey, it's time to go home. My grandma isn't asleep. She died. It takes courage to go on living when the one you love has died. Beautiful day. And accept that death cannot be changed. Everyone eventually has an experience of someone who died. A member of their family, a good friend, someone they thought would live a lot longer. We did everything we could, I'm sorry. Your pain is not less than theirs. It's not more. It's not the same. Can I play in my room now? Be sure to hang up that suit when you take it off. I will. You might be freaked out by the grief of those you depend on. My dad cried at the funeral. Not the quiet kind of crying. It was the kind you can hear. My mom says to talk to grandma in my imagination. I know what I would say. Grandma, you shouldn't have died. I still need you. Oh, honey, I know. Death is stupid. Grandma, you said stupid. <laughs> well, it is. If you have questions for the one who died, ask them in your imagination or write out loud. Grandma, can you see me doing bad things from heaven? Nothing about you is bad, child. And don't you ever forget it. There may come a reply. My spirit is safe in dreams or in signs, it's okay for you to have fun without me. I'm sorry for leaving you. Where did she go? Why do you have to, or why do we have to die? Grandma's garden is weedy, Dad. Sure is. She'd be so annoyed. She would. We don't get to keep everyone we love who has ever lived.
but we do get to remember them long after their lives have ended. Let's get you dressed. Grandma died, but her plants are alive. Remembering lasts. My mother fed and watered everything out here, including you and me. Keep your connections to those who have died and to those still living. Dad, would you teach me to make the sauce she made in the boiling hot jars? It would be an honor. These connections make death less scary and they make life more fun. The end. And the last thing that the author left are some ideas that she had. She says, want to know how to keep someone and at the same time let them go? Wear what they wore, play what they played, I'm in. Read what they read. Hey, my name is in here. Make what they made. Who wants some me? Oh, me, yum, me too, me. And treasure what was dear to them. You. I hope that if you've experienced someone that you love that's died, you have a chance to talk with an adult that you trust, whether it's someone at home, in your family, someone at school, like a teacher or a social worker. Each and every one of you has adults in your life that care for you, that want to be supportive of you, and want to be able to listen to what you need. Take care.